So we are hopping right in here uh, with my buddy Steve, who's a 200 pound heavyweight. He's gonna go for the single leg right here. I usually have really, really good balance, but he's going to kick that leg out, uh, my posting leg, and I uh, get the two points right here, but I'm able to get into a uh, butterfly position and roll him over and come back on top. So immediately off the bat, we're already uh, going for the sweeps and the takedowns. So right here, I'm going to do my uh, trademark step through pass right here. And uh, I don't really get the step through pass, but it's able to help me set up into my tried and true. Uh, this, this is a pass that I'm always gonna go for uh, in most of my roles, the over under pass right here. His uh, right leg is very, very high though. So what I'm trying to do is take my left leg, uh, get past his knee line or, or, or up past his knee line and then um, angle my hips down right here and then start getting the over under pass, uh, clear that right leg and then uh, pass the guard right here. So right here, what I'm doing with my left arm is trying to keep him down. And what I wanna do is uh, try to get uh, on top here and um, pass his half guard and get into a, a mount position right here. So what I'm doing is I'm holding his, his left arm, uh, really just putting pressure into him and trying to clear that leg without giving him any space to uh, maneuver. So as you can see, I, I step my, or not step, but I move my left arm over and I try to isolate his his left arm and try to go for like a, a Americana Kimura position there. But uh, in the in the middle of him trying to get um, to his side, I'm able to get into the mount position. I'm trying to go for the Americana there, not really going to work because he's a strong dude. So he rolls over. I'm able to keep my weight in my hands and get into the back position right here and uh, start taking the back. So right here, what I'm trying to do is I'm using my uh, right arm to kind of try to, well, what I want to do is, is uh, isolate his right arm and then use my left arm to uh, get my fingers past his shoulder right here and get a one arm choke. Um, as you can see, his arm is trapped and I'm trying to go for it, but he's doing a very good job of defending and uh, he's able to get his arm free, uh, get two arms on my one left arm. And uh, what I'm trying to do is trap that right arm once again and try to go for the same position, but he's able to clear it and stop me from doing it here. He's trying to start clearing the feet. Uh, I'm not gonna let him do that. And when he uh, rolls, I come up to the mount position. So I went from the back uh, from a dominant position, very dominant and trying to get the choke to the mount position. So I didn't really know. Well, I mean, I lost the back, so it's not that great, but I'm still in a mount position. I'm still in a very good position. Um, uh, very good dominating position right here. So I try to go for a an Ezekiel <laughs> in Nogi, which, uh, you know, it doesn't really uh, happen that way. But uh, I'm able to get into an Umaplata position right there. He turns into me and then I get into the triangle position. But as you can see, it's not very tight. He's going to be able to get his head out right here. And then I get into the closed guard position, which is a position that I really, really enjoy. You're going to see a lot of closed guard in this role because uh, it leads to a lot of sweeps and it's just something that I play. So right here, what I'm trying to do is um, use my use my hips and my knees to bring him in and try to get his arm past the center line right here I'm going for a two-on-one on his right arm trying to get it past my center line to set up a, a submission or a, a, not a submission but an arm bar or a back sweep or get to the back so right here he's gonna pin my arm and stand up on both feet right when he does this I'm able to hook my left arm right here and get the muscle sweep which is a sweep that I love to do uh, when people start to stand it's something that um, I've been doing uh, very very I've had very very good success with it so right here I'm taking the back I got both my hooks in so what he's going to do is very very clever right here he's going to shoot his right leg back and clear that hook that I have right there but I still have the butterfly hook the deep butterfly hook and when I roll I'm able to shoot that leg forward and get the sweep here but uh, what I should have done is cleared the leg in the sweep that way I wouldn't end up in this half guard position here I realize that uh, my leg is now trapped and uh, I've gift wrapped his arm right here around his head. So both my arms are now occupied and I don't really have an arm to put on his on his legs to clear my leg. So um, I'm kind of in a, a stuck position right here. Here I start to uh, snake that right arm around and try to uh, get the choke. He's gonna get to, into a turtle position, try to roll forward, but I'm going to stay with him, stay on the back. But right here I slip off the side, but I'm still in a, um, Kind of like a closed guard sweep right here. I try to go for a pendulum sweep, but my leg wasn't in the proper position. So um, here he starts to drive into me uh, and he starts to uh, start clearing the uh, the guard that I have. But I but I put that knee shield in and I've got a very, very good half guard position here. I'm not uh, entirely too worried about um, him, him passing because I've got the daily Heva and I'm playing a very, very dominant half guard, keeping his hand off the back of my head. Uh, and then I get into the closed guard once again. So here I am playing the closed guard once again. And again, I'm trying to get him to put his arms on my uh, biceps or in my armpits so I can grab on the arms and pull it across the center line right here. He's going to try to open the guard by 
putting his elbow into my thigh, but I, <laughs> you know, that only works when you're a white belt. Uh, my legs have been deadened long ago. So here we are, I'm still playing the close guard position right here, trying to work on the inside, using my hips and my knees to uh, bring the posture down right here. I'm trying to go for an arm bar position. He's going to step up his right leg. I'm going to hook under it and get the pendulum sweep here, uh, getting the sweep and then coming up to mount. This is one of the reasons, ladies and gentlemen, why I really, really love close guard because it leads to so many sweeping opportunities uh, and you can also threaten a lot of submissions. So right here, uh, I was trying to isolate the arm, maybe trying to go for a gogo plata. I don't really remember what I was trying to do in this position right here, but he sneaks his head out the back and uh, I'm just going to follow him. So right here, I'm just trying to stay behind him. He rolls, uh, rolls forward and I try to do this step through press right here and uh, he's on his side. So I'm just going to start to walk around the guard. So he's keeping his, his right leg too low and he's uh, sticking that hip to the mat. So I'm able just to walk around the guard and uh, start to uh, threaten the back position right here. Again, I jump to the, the back and I pull that arm open, put my foot, my left foot into that hook position, but he's able to uh, grab the foot and drive into me. And now I'm in kind of this, um, this half back, half close guard position. This would be a position I'd be in if I brought the arm across the center line and I'm trying to get the back. But right here, I've got a figure four grip on that arm. So I'm going to swing my uh, right leg over and try to get the belly down arm bar. Um, he's really, really strong. So he's stopping that right there. So I realize I lost it and I post with my hand and get back into the close guard position. Again, right here, I want him exactly what he's doing right there to put his arms into my uh, elbows. Uh, I'm sorry, into my armpits. And uh, what I want to do is uh, then grab the arm, uh, bring it across the center line as you can see right here and try I try to go for that um that muscle sweep again but he's he's wise to it and he stops that right then and there so here I'm in the closed guard and breaking the posture down fighting for the inside there's only 10 seconds left as you can see to my right there's Gabriel Souza um doing some some rounds right there so we're gonna obviously get out of the way for him and uh, right here I'm still playing the closed guard position and that is the end of the round so, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the Nogi round. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, a few takeaways. When I got that sweep into the... Um uh, when I ended up being trapped inside the deep half position. What I should have done is brought my right leg up to his head and sit over that hip that's trapped and just take in the back. I don't know what I was doing just hanging out there, but uh, uh, there was a back take opportunity that I missed uh, right then and there. And again, um, I, like I said, I like to play a lot of close guards, so I think I did pretty well with those sweeps and uh, establishing dominant positions. And um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the roll. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.